Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our new vlog series starting today. Um, but why are we doing a new vlog series? We did these in COVID and that's long gone now, praise the Lord. I think anyway. A um, couple of reasons. Firstly, we've got some people in church that can't make it to church. And they're, they're either ill or they're at home or maybe they live far away. And it's good to keep connected. It's good to, that we can say we love you guys and we want to encourage you in your walk with God. And encourage you to get stuck into God's word because that's the best place that anyone can be. Uh, and the second reason is we've had a few people become Christians this year, which is great. But there's also mature Christians. So whether you're a new Christian or you're a mature Christian, it's always good to keep learning, to keep listening to what God's saying and to keep growing in, in your faith journey as you go, as you walk through life and to grow more in the knowledge of who he is and how amazing and how powerful he is. So the series is called Whole Life, Whole Bible. And so there's 50 studies and it goes from Genesis to Revelation, looking at the, the whole picture of the Bible. But the main point is this, it's all about Jesus. You find him right at the beginning, you find him right at the end. Jesus said, I am the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. But on every page in, in between as well, we find Jesus because it's all about him. And some of these studies will go a little bit uh, deeper, perhaps. But obviously each person is going to bring their own viewpoint, their own perspective. And to help us to, uh, to learn more about him, to know him better and to follow him and to serve him um, more effectively in our lives. And so you'd think today that today's study would start right at the beginning, but it doesn't. It starts in Colossians 1. So I'm going to read just a few verses to you. Uh, look at the images and have a listen to, to this portion of God's word. The sun is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For in him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities. All things have been created through him and for him. God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him and through him, to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in in heaven by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. The title of today's vlog is this, The Lordship of Christ. Jesus is Lord, is, it's, a, it's a church term that we use that perhaps people that don't go to church wouldn't understand, but it basically means he's the king, he's the boss, he's the ruler, he's the Lord over everything, over the whole universe over everything in time, from the beginning to the end, he is the king over it all. And if we're really to come take that in and to take that small part of the Bible that we just read, if we'd really consider that and ponder it, I could be here all day explaining it. But if we just take a few of those points, it's transforming. What does it, what does it say? The sun is the image of the invisible God. In him, all things are being created through him. And he's reconciled all things by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. If we just take that, those little bits in, it's life transforming. It'll transform the way that we live. It'll transform the way that we act. It'll transform the way that we speak and care and live with other people. But what does it, what does it mean to me that he's the Lord over everything? He's the king. Well, what does it mean to me? How does it apply to my life? I look at it this way, because he's the king, because he's the boss, because he's the ruler of the whole universe, I can trust him. I can fully trust him with every part of my life. I can rely on him for everything that I need in life. But it also means he's worth listening to. And also he's worth living for. But that's me. Last night we had our men's discipleship group, just a social we met in Rob Greeno's garden. And... We just asked the question to, to, to each other. What does it mean to you? So I thought we'd just do something differently and just share some of those answers that we had last night. And Gordon will wrap it up from the garden. Um, have a great day, everybody. God bless. See you all soon. Well, hello again. Picking up from my vlog at home. Um, I'm sat in the garden with Monsieur Ricky and the guys. Spit. Oh, you can't spin the video. Um, and um, yeah, ask, asking the question, 
Ricky, what does it mean to you in your life right now, knowing that Jesus is the Lord of creation of everything, the sustainer of all things? So how does it apply to your life? Well, before I came to faith, I used to worry about everything. I used to worry that I need to be in control of everything. Whereas now I don't. I know it's, it's him in control. It's his plan. And I'm just along for the ride. So now I can just relax and just follow Jesus' way and mm -hmm. spread, the, spread the same to other people best I can. Okay, brilliant. Uh, have you got any recent examples when you've realised that or anything that's happened recently? Yeah, I was, um, I was sat in A&E at half past three this morning. Nice. <coughs> it wasn't, it wasn't nice. <laughs> it wasn't nice. Um, and I was sat with a friend and she'd been there 15 hours and yeah, it's a long time to sit in A&E. Mm. And I sat and I sat and I started to pray for her. Mm -hmm. And she asked me what I was doing. I was like, I'm praying for you. She was like, not in here. Don't, don't. I was like, just relax. It's fine. Mm. So I prayed for her. 10 minutes later, she gets called through. Mm -hmm. So... And there was a girl sat next to us, and she she literally she was like, "Can you pray for me as well?" I was like, "Yeah, okay." So I prayed for her, and then she got called through, and I was expecting like a bit of a <laughs> rush then, but obviously Hatner came back through, and then we we left then. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was definitely definitely a lot of work. When he's the Lord of all, he can do anything. Exactly. Cheers, Ricky. Um, take two. We'll have um, somebody up next. So you might have noticed that Darren's changed um, somewhat. Um, I've been asked just to continue this little thought about uh, what it means that Jesus is Lord and I've been joined by the soon-to-be-married Omar and Omar recently we had a short interview didn't we so this is following up from that interview and I'm just going to ask you that same question that Darren asked uh, Ricky which is what, it, what does it mean to you that Jesus is Lord of everything? Personally it means to me that um he is always present in my life, from the time I wake up to the time I go to sleep. That's if I have worries or stresses, that there's someone there for me to pray to and turn to. And um, just being right, a miracle thing in my life, uh, especially after my baptism, things have really uh, taken off in a very good way. And um, just to reassure us to know that there's a uh, somebody very special in my life that loves me unconditionally no matter what whether I sin or I don't sin he's there for me and he's the creator of all things in life and he's going to be lord of your marriage as well and lord of my marriage lord of my family and hopefully lord of my children wonderful amen thanks so much amen. thanks so much Rob tell us what it means for the lord to be most important in your life? I think for me, it's, it's great to have somebody who's just in charge of everything, uh, to know that whatever I'm going through in life, whatever decision I need to make, I've got somebody I can turn to, to talk to about it, to listen to, and just to, to follow whatever his guiding is. So it's great to have, it's great to have that, that constant in my life. No matter what I'm going through, what's happening, he's always there. That's always great. Thank you. Good. And as being pastor of our church, what does the Lord of the universe mean to you? Um, I think I go back to when I was brought up, I, I learned a little maxim, which was that Jesus is Lord of all or not at all. And for me, that's very important because, you know, being a pastor, come across all sorts of different issues in people's lives and even outside the church as we look into what's happening in the world the world is pretty messed up isn't it so it's very important for me in my own spirit and my own soul but also as I share with other people to give them that understanding that no matter what's going on in the world Jesus is Lord he has got it he has got us in the palm of a, his hand and that allows me and I hope everyone watching uh, to be able to put your head on the pillow at night and rest easy, not full of worry, not full of anxiety, but just full of uh, certainty and sure hope that Jesus is Lord. And I hope that brings you hope today. It, it brings me hope every day. Amen. Gordon, thanks for finishing my vlog off.